Swiss authorities question FIFA President Sepp Blatter in World Cup corruption probe. The FIFA President Sepp Blatter will be questioned by Swiss prosecutors investigating the votes for the 2018 and 2022 World Cups, it has been reported. The Swiss Attorney General's office, which is carrying out a criminal probe into how the tournaments were awarded to Russia and Qatar respectively, has said it will interview 10 serving FIFA officials who were involved in the process. Sepp Blatter attacks FIFA's critics saying corruption's crisis exaggerated by English, American media. The president of football's global governing body, Sepp Blatter, has launched a blistering attack on FIFA's critics. Speaking the day after his re-election as president, Blatter denied he was involved in corruption and accused the media of exaggerating the crisis. But Blatter, 79, said people should remember US allegations against the officials have yet to be proven true, adding efforts to unseat him were down to English media and the American movement because of their failed World Cup bids. No one is going to tell me that it was a simple coincidence, this American attack two days before the elections of FIFA. It doesn't smell good, he told Swiss television. Blatter also said he was shocked at the way FIFA was targeted by American authorities, and condemned US Attorney General Loretta Lynch, Prince William to FIFA, tackle corruption and put sport first. The Duke of Cambridge has sensationally intervened in the FIFA corruption scandal with an unprecedented speech criticizing world football's governing body. In his speech as president of the Football Association before Saturday's FA Cup final at Wembley, Sepp Blatter, who stands accused of presiding over ampent, systemic and deep-rooted corruption, the Duke said, there seems to be a huge disconnect between the sense of fair play that guides those playing and supporting the game and the allegations of corruption that have long lingered around the management of the sport internationally. The events in Zurich this week represent FIFA's Salt Lake City moment, when the International Olympic Committee went through a similar period of serious allegations, said the Duke. RTG Sport